everyone, my name is Ethel and thank you very much for taking the time to view the online presentation of my research proposal. This is also the oral presentation assessment test for MEDD6014 Research Methods, a core module in the Masters of Education program offered by the Faculty of Education, University of Hong Kong. As compared to the preliminary proposal that I submitted on the 30th of December 2014, this research proposal that I'm now presenting has undergone considerable development and I would like to thank the professors and teachers for the valuable time and input on a new research design. Here is an outline of my presentation. It shows the sequence of five important parts of my research that I'll be sharing with you shortly. Welcome to a short introduction of my research study. The title of my study is Computational Scientific Inquiry Using a Moza Virtual World at a Hong Kong School. The virtual world of Planet Amosa was developed at COCO, an acronym for the Center for Research on Computer Supported Learning and Connection, which operates within the Faculty of Education and Social Work at the University of Sydney. Research on the sciences and technologies of learning takes place at COCO for discovering how innovative learning technologies and pedagogical approaches can enhance formal and informal learning. In a research project on learning in virtual worlds, the research team led by Professor Michael Jacobson designed and applied the Amosa Virtual World software in an Australian secondary school to understand how educational multi-user virtual environments can enhance the learning of important scientific knowledge and inquiry skills. The research team considers the prevalence of technology use for conducting 21st century science and proposes computational scientific inquiry as an innovative pedagogical approach for learning scientific knowledge and practices by having school students computationally do science analogous to what scientists do through the combination of experiencing virtual fieldwork to formulate their research question and hypothesis and using agent-based computer model to run computational experiments to confirm or reject their hypothesis. After contacting Professor Jacobson, who has kindly agreed to share the Amosa Virtual World software, as well as in view of the significant learning gains as stated in the reported results, henceforth the objective of my study include Implementing the design computational scientific inquiry activities supported by Amosa Virtual World and Amosa Net Local Technologies at a Hong Kong school, and examining whether this new approach can enhance both student learning of scientific inquiry skills and their interest in learning science. The process of identifying a major research problem was done through a review of the learning sciences literature. By studying how people learn, the scientists have discovered that instructionism was deeply flawed and that a paradigm shift is needed for students to gain deeper conceptual understanding so as to learn facts and procedures in a much more useful and profound way that transfers to real-world settings. In order to help engage students and promote deep learning, establish key principles such as authenticity, inquiry, collaboration and technology should be incorporated as features of learning environments. In particular, various inquiry-based approaches to science education such as project-based learning and problem-based learning are familiarized as more effective instructional practices that maximize students' achievement and provide opportunities to develop essential 21st century competencies. However, Many science teachers do find it difficult to design learning environments that engage students in authentic inquiry learning with a hands-on and experiential approach to hone their scientific inquiry skills that may involve undertaking fieldwork, making observations, formulating questions, planning experiments, and analyzing data. At the same time, many science teachers are frustrated over how best to facilitate student inquiry learning. Research studies have surfaced pedagogical approaches such as direct instruction, productive failure, cognitive apprenticeship, and unguided or minimally guided instruction, extending unresolved arguments on instructional guidance and scaffolding. 
Furthermore, new communities of scientific practices are using computer modeling techniques and scientific visualization tools to enable investigation of complex systems. Yet current classroom practices for teaching and learning science generally do not provide ample opportunities for students to try new computational ways for doing science. In a nutshell, the Amosa virtual world was created for the need of a computational environment for inquiry. The use of computers to provide simulations and models as well as virtual worlds and game-like systems and the inclusion of productive failure as a learning design may help to shed some lights on the major research problem of how best to support inquiry learning for science education. In relation to what is known and also not known about the research problem, as well as the purpose of my study to investigate the implementation of computational scientific inquiry activities in the Omosa Virtual World Software at the Hong Kong School, I have two main research questions that I am interested to find out with regards to student learning or achievement and student interest and engagement. Now I'll talk about my research approach and proposed methods of data collection and analysis. I hope to also mention some methodological improvements and fieldwork strategies in this part of my presentation. The implementation of computational scientific inquiry with virtual world and agent-based model to be carried out at a Hong Kong school makes this a very interesting case to examine and understand in detail. Therefore, a case study is the choice of approach that I will conduct to answer both my research questions. I'm pleased to have connected with a Hong Kong school's assistant vice principal and science teacher. Both of them are kind to offer their assistance in coordinating this study with student participants from their school. A group of about 20 to 25 students to be nominated by their teachers to ensure commitment may include education levels from primary 6 to secondary 2 as from a true train mode school will be recruited to use the Amosa virtual world software which will be pre-installed in available computers or laptops in the school computer laboratory. All participants will receive the same intervention which will be conducted in English. After consulting the school teachers and having a discussion with them and the professors, the original two-week intervention was redesigned and condensed for feasibility of conducting this study with minimum disruptions to the school curriculum. Four three hours Saturday mornings have been scheduled for student participants to experience inquiry activities with use of technologies. A scenario will be given which requires students to form research teams to help the Muslim people living on planet Amosa understand their ecological crisis by conducting investigations into possible reasons for the declining animal populations. During the study, students will not only work collaboratively to accomplish the inquiry task, but also undergo a series of pedagogically low and high structured activities involving self-exploration, guidebook scaffolding, and teacher facilitation. Here's a table showing in brief the list of activities that students will do for their respective three-hour Saturday morning sessions. After every session, students will also be asked to contribute posters to an online discussion forum to deepen their understanding of the learning activities. Moving on to the kinds of data that will be collected for this case study approach, I'll be doing a mixed methods research to gather both quantitative and qualitative evidence to support or reject my hypothesis that the innovative pedagogical approach and design learning activities can enhance student learning of scientific inquiry skills and their interest in learning science. Working on the feedback received from my preliminary proposal, I have made improvements to the kinds of data that will be collected. In summary, I wish to highlight significant developments like the integration of an online forum for purposes of formative assessment and exploring ways to improve student learning. 
Another development is the necessary inclusion of qualitative research comprising added data sources such as recordings of in-class activities, student collaborative work and discussions at their computer stations, and focus group or personal interviews with students and teachers. This data will be collected with consent from research participants and video or audio recorded depending on their preference. Quantitative data such as student performance scores from their pre and post tests, open-ended tests in the guidebook and even online forum posts will be analyzed and primarily used to answer first research question on the learning gains pertaining to science inquiry knowledge and skills. On the other hand, Qualitative data that records participants' observable actions or body language and their feedback or comments will be analyzed to understand participants' experiences and perceptions for answering second research question in terms of motivation and learning outcomes. Lastly, this research study also has its challenges and limitations. I guess some unique challenges may include the three-hour-long sessions planned on four Saturday mornings. Besides threat to obtaining reliable results, it will be challenging to guarantee full commitment or effort from the participants if they gradually become tired or listless. Moreover, for this study, I will be working with teachers and professors to try the technologies and finalize details of the learning activities which may be challenging since I am an inexperienced user of the new technologies. This intervention is also going to be implemented in a real-world school setting, which can cause analysis to be more challenging, especially with the need to make and present accurate interpretations of the participants' experiences and perspectives. Furthermore, this small-scale single-case study research will not be adequate for generalization of findings. However, I believe that the findings from this study can add strength to the prior research study to maximize the potentiality of the Amosa virtual world software. Another limitation is that there may be insufficient time to run pilot studies. We have come to the end of my presentation. I look forward to and appreciate your feedback or questions about my research study in a following online discussion. Once again, thank you so much and have a nice day. Music